Hi guys! So for today's video, I'm going to be taking you on a little tour of my oldest daughter Penelope's room. She's six. We just finished her room after about two years of living in this house and she has the cutest wallpaper ever. I love this space so much, so I'll take you on a little tour. Let's go! When we moved into this house, it was all very builder basic and plain. Every wall was gray. I knew I wanted to do something fun in here for her. I wanted wallpaper. So I found this Priyana wallpaper from Serena and Lily. It is this really pretty soft blush pink. It comes in a bunch of different colors, but the pattern is not too busy. And I love how it makes this face look. The bunnies just kind of happened. I didn't come into the design of this room with a bunny theme in mind. I found the knobs for her nightstands from Michael Aram. They're all handmade and they were actually silver, but I wanted to go with brass, so I used Rub and Buff. If you're a crafter, you're probably familiar. And it's just like this wax paste that you can put on metal and I actually turned them brass and I did the same with the sconces. The sconces actually also traveled with us from our old house and they used to be silver and I used rub and buff on those as well and turned them brass so that they would match the rest of the accents in this room. They're so pretty. They give off the softest glow at night. I love that she can turn them on to read and sit in her bed, which she does all the time, by the way. And they're plug-in. They're not even hardwired. I was a little nervous to do that with wallpaper. The bunny prints are actually from Etsy. They were printable. They literally were like under $5, I think. And I had them printed at Staples, and then I just throw them in my Holy Grail IKEA Ribba frames, which I have in tons of places in my house and hung them in a trio with this really pretty like peony print from one of my favorite shops called Sister Golden. I have another one of their prints in my other daughter's room which I'll do a tour for that room next and they're just the most beautiful quality ever so check them out. Her Roman shades are actually custom from a place called Woven Home. They're in like this really beautiful cream linen. And since we have a lot of whites going on in here too, I love that they're like ivory, they're really creamy, they're not too matchy-matchy with the rest of the room. I did not want this room to have like traditional elements in it at all. I wanted it to be more fun and whimsical. My daughter is six. So I went with these mid-century nightstands that I found on Amazon. I love the tapered leg. They were pretty inexpensive for a set of two. And then I added those little bunny knobs and I just think it amps them up so much and they're so cute. We used to have a little Lalo play table in here, but we found that my three-year-old was actually using it more than my older daughter was. So we moved that table into her bedroom and we got Penelope a desk. The headboard is one of my very favorite pieces in this entire room. I love the texture and the color against all the pinks and the whites, and it is also from Home Depot. So do not sleep on Home Depot furniture. They have really great prices, they have awesome styles, and I feel like no one really uses them as a furniture resource, and I love them so much. The pillow shams are from Restoration Hardware Baby and Child, and they are not in the matching print of the wallpaper, but I love how they play together. They're in this really pretty blush trellis print, and while you can get pillow shams from Serena and Lily in the matching wallpaper print, I didn't want things to be too matchy-matchy in here, and I just think they play really nicely with the color and with the rest of the room. The light fixture is probably my second favorite thing in this room besides the headboard, and as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I actually ordered it like two years ago on Black Friday and it took like a year to come in. It was on crazy back order, but the leaves on it are almost identical to the leaves on the wallpaper. I could not not have it. One of my very favorite rug sources is Annie Selkie and this wool rug I used to have in my old office actually in our old house. So this has traveled with us now here and I think it works perfectly in Penelope's room. It's the perfect color to match her bedding and the wallpaper. It's really easy to vacuum which is really essential in a kid's space or a nursery. I had a rug in my other daughter's room and like the vacuum could barely get over it. So this one is really easy to keep clean. The stripe is just kind of like a fun element to add here with everything else going on. 
So behind me, we just added these Ikea picture ledges, which I also have in two other places in my house. They're really inexpensive, but so fun to use as book ledges. You can use them as picture ledges too. I think that's what they're meant for. But I'm using them as book ledges in our playroom and my other daughter's room. And it's just super fun to display the books that she loves right now or switch them out with the seasons. I just decided to get organized this season and made a big trip to the container store for my fridge and also to get hangers for my girls' rooms, which were like a hodgepodge of plastic red, white, and blue kids hangers from various places we've lived. So I just got these really cute pink velvet hangers. I got like the monster box of like 50 and I split them between both my girls' rooms and I just, her clothes look so much cuter. It all looks so uniform in there. I love it so much. I will do my other daughter's big girl room tour next, which she also has some of the cutest wallpaper ever. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe. I'm so excited you're here and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.